Hello everyone, welcome to Wire Network. In today's video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of configuring a DHCP server on a Mikrotik router to automatically assign IP addresses to your network devices. Step 1. Create a bridge and assign LAN ports. First, access your Mikrotik router using Winbox or Webfig. Next, identify the interfaces you want to add to the bridge. In this example, we will use Ether2 and Ether3 as LAN ports. In the left-hand menu, click on the Bridge option. Under the Bridge tab, click on the plus icon to create a new bridge. Next, give a name to the bridge. After creating the bridge, navigate to the Ports tab and add Ether2 and Ether3 to the bridge. Step 2. Assign IP address to the bridge interface. Navigate to the IP menu in the left-hand sidebar and select Addresses. Click on the plus button to add a new IP address. Next, enter the IP address you wish to assign to the LAN network. Next, select the bridge interface that you created earlier. Step 3. Configure network address translation for internet access. Without NAT, devices with private IP addresses can't access the internet directly, so we configure NAT on Mikrotik to enable internet connectivity for the entire local network. Next, navigate to IP firewall, then click on the NAT tab. Click Add. In the General tab, set the chain to SRC NAT, then enter your local LAN network subnet in the SRC address field. Next, go to the Action tab and set the action to Masquerade. Step 4 set up the DHCP server. To set up a DHCP server on a Mikrotik router, go to IP DHCP server from the main menu. Next, click on the DHCP setup button at the top. Select the interface where the DHCP server will operate, such as the LAN or bridge interface. Click Next button. In the DHCP address space, the router autofills the network based on your bridge IP. Just click Next. Set the gateway IP, then click Next. Specify the IP address pool, then click Next. Specify DNS servers, then click Next. Set lease time, then click Next. Setup complete. Your DHCP server is now up and running. Step 5, Testing DHCP Server Now we're testing the DHCP server on my PC by simply disabling and re-enabling the network interface. As you can see, my PC has received an IP address and DNS information from the Mikrotik DHCP server. You can also verify the assigned IP under the Leases tab in the DHCP server window on your Mikrotik router.